We are the women of the PMC Lawson Cancer Center. We are here to support your journey, deliver hope, and provide solutions that will advance your care. Our purpose is saving lives. On Saturday, October 15th, 1620 Distillery in Prestonsburg will be opening their doors to the public. Owner Kyle Turner is hoping to see plenty of bourbon connoisseurs take a look at what they have to offer on opening day, including their own 1620 bourbon whiskey and merchandise. So we, we've been on shelves for about 10 months now. Um, first bottles hit shelves in, in January. Uh, about that time, also when we uh, when we purchased the complex there in, in Prestonsburg, it's, it's the old Cooley Medical Building that a lot of people are familiar with. Um, we've sort of completed stage one of, of, of renovation there, being the tasting room, the gift shop, stuff like that. Uh, so that that's kind of what Saturday is about. It's kind of getting people out to see that, and uh, you know, as well as raise some money for for a good cause. The good cause in question is a fundraiser for the officers who died in the Allen shooting incident in June. All of the proceeds will be donated to the Floyd County Community Foundation Crisis Fund. Uh, so it, it, it's 20 bucks uh, ahead at the door to get in, and the full 20 bucks uh, goes goes to the fund for the police officers there in, in Prestonsburg that were that were killed at, at the at the Allen shooting. Um, we're going to be there with, with doing a tasting for us. Uh, Polly Hollow, which is a distillery uh, up there in Pikeville, uh, they're going to be there as well doing a tasting. Um, and then there's a, there's a couple wineries that are going to be there, and we're working on a, a brewery or two as well. So that there's quite a bit of, of opportunity for people to come in and taste, you know, different beverages there from around the area, uh, and, and raise raise money for a good cause. You know, we just want everybody to come out and, and support us. The uh, the city of Prestonsburg uh, has has already been incredibly supportive of us. Uh, people around there have been uh, greatly receptive to us and and, and our product and. We really appreciate that and uh, hope that folks can continue to do that. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.